Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to clone a repository from GitHub. In order to get started, you need to have JupyterLab open and you need to be in the main view. Then um, in the launcher, you can see the application for a terminal, which is essentially a command line interface to the underlying file system and computer. So what we do first is we open the terminal and we can then type in a command to check that we are in our home directory. So if you type P, W and D and press enter, it'll print out the directory you're currently in. What you want to do next is to open up another tab in your web browser and navigate to GitHub. And I already have open here a repository from the course organization. And in this view on GitHub, I'm just going to click the green button here on the right hand side and click the button which says code. And then I'm going to copy this address under the heading HTTPS. And I'm going to click this button here to copy the address. Next, I'm going to move back to the terminal. And what we're going to do now is use a program called Git to interact with GitHub, which is a web-based service. So I'm going to type this command called git clone, which clones the repository from GitHub. And then I'm just going to paste the address of the repository here. When I press enter, the git program will start cloning the repository. And in this case, um, I've already authenticated with GitHub, but you probably need to fill in your GitHub username and password at this point. If you take a look on the left hand side, you'll see that the repository was cloned into a folder named notebooks. And this is now essentially what we have here in GitHub as well. And this is now a local version on our server and on GitHub, you have the so-called remote version of the repository. And the process of cloning establishes a connection between the local and the remote repository. The same process would also apply for cloning the course exercises from GitHub. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks and see you next time.